Great day. How are you? It's yours truly, Dr. AJ Austin, founder of the International Center for Life Coach Training, LLC, where I train black women of faith to become certified life coaches online in one day. Yes, it can be done in one day. Hop over to futureblacklifecoaches.com to find out how. Today I'm wearing my woke shirt. Got the whole breakdown of the adjective on here. Woke. Got on my mood ring. It's done shifted from blue to purple since I went live. Got me a Starbucks cup of ice with chicken fillet. They call it a sunrise or sun something, but it's an Arnold Palmer sweet tea and lemonade mix. I'm feeling cute. Got me some hoops. I usually don't do hoops, but I'm cute though. I said, let me go live and talk about what a life coach does because who child when I say the last week or so out in public dealing with people they hear that I'm a life coach. People do not know. When people hear the word life coach, they instantly think counseling. They instantly think I can tell you all my problems. I'm going to tell you all my business. I'm going to dump all my drama on you. I'm going to tell you what had happened. And you're going to tell me what to do, how to live my life and be okay. And that triggers me because I'm like, no, no. What Kevin, Kevin, uh, Kevin Campbell, Kevin Hart says, I almost said Kevin Samuels. What Kevin Hart say? No, no, no. That's how I be feeling. No, that's not life coaching. No, no. So I wanted to come and do a video for what life coaching is. I'm trying to set y'all up. Bootleg it real quick. Hopefully it don't fall. So I took some notes. I've been taking notes recently on, on things that I noticed that pop up for us life coaches here. So if you're here, welcome again. I'm Dr. AJ Austin, founder of the International Center for Life Coach Training, LLC, where I train black women of faith to become certified life coaches online in one day. I have a complimentary Christian coaching community over at futureblacklifecoaches.com where I share videos like these. And we have a podcast, we have a YouTube channel, and we also have a boot camp coming up. Did you know that? You should. Welcome and you're welcome. Join us over at futureblacklifecoaches.com. Answer the questions though, because you can't get in the club without answering the questions. Okay. I'm trying to let y'all see my shirt and talk to y'all. Let me <clears throat> sit up straight so we can get everything on camera. Okay. So what exactly does a life coach do? I'm looking at my notes and we have eight tips here. So the first of eight is sometimes a life coach will offer feedback um, and observations. I literally just got off of a four hour coaching call with one of my mentors. I love our conversations because I am a human who is constantly in my head making decisions, trying to think things through, driving myself crazy, having panic attacks, having anxiety attacks, being triggered because people think life coaching is counseling. They didn't tell me all their business. Now I'm drained for the day. And I be needing a coach. And so this coach's job was to listen to me, hold that space for me and give me valuable feedback, but more importantly, valuable observation or insight. I told him today, I was like, I love that when I share everything that's going on in my head, in my coaching company, you give me a different perspective. That's what a life coach does. They offer that valuable feedback sometimes, give you different perspectives, different observations, sometimes different ideas. But really what this is doing is helping a coaching client find their own solutions. So it's helping you talk things through. Whatever your challenge is, whatever your goal is in life, your coach is there to help you talk it through it. And I'm so excited that I get to speak as a coach and as a coaching client. So when I educate, I channel both, okay? Because when people say, what does a life coach do? Well, that's what a life coach does. We offer insight, valuable feedback, observations, different perspectives. We hold the space for our coaching clients. We let them get clear on what they're dealing with in their life what they want. And that's exactly what my coach does for me. Asks me questions, um, centered around the goal that I say I have. He also helps to make things clear to say, okay, well, this is for you, you know, your why and your, um, definition of success and how you run your coaching company. This is your goal. Let's hold you accountable to that goal and ask you some questions around it. So that's number one. Number two, what a life coach does exactly is that they help others, meaning their coaching clients, clarify and explore perspectives, explore insights about um, whatever the coaching client has as a goal. So for example, my goal when I met my coach was to, um, as he called it, get off your feet. 
I call it run my business in my passively. So that means that for the most part, 90% of my day and my time, I want to spend doing whatever I want to do, whether it's taking a nap or two, whether it's shopping, <laughs> whatever it is, it's just me, myself and I, and I want to enjoy my time. So help me to center my business, my coaching business around uh, my life, you know, and not the other way around. And so what he did was take that 10% of time that I had available out of the 100. We already got 90%. I want to do what I want to do. 10%. I'm going to show up. I'm going to give 100% of myself in that 10%. And what that 10% looked like was me getting ideas out of my head, him asking me questions, us getting super clear, not him telling me what I need to do, what I could have, should have, would have, ought to did. Yes, he listens to my problems, but I also know coming from being a coach, not to just down, weigh someone down with everything that's going on. Because just because you can handle it don't mean everybody else can. So I don't weigh him down. But when it comes to something I'm dealing with in my coaching company, like hitting a goal, then that's what he helped me with. So that's what a coach does. It helps you clarify and explore perspectives. And so he's very, very, very good with number one, being patient. Won't let me get off the phone if he can hear it in my voice that I got a question or I'm not clear on something or I'm still stuck or my mood didn't change from the time we start talking. And so that's what a coach does, holds that space, makes the time, and then asks specific questions around what the coaching clients say they want. So notice he's not there to teach me anything. He's not there to judge me. He is there as an unbiased party. Um, he does not share his opinions unless I ask or want him. And you have to get that permission to be in that space with that person, you know, and even to coach them, you have to say, would you like some coaching around that? Or is it okay if I coach you a little? And those are literally the questions that he asked me from day to day. So just to recap, two of the eight things that a life coach does exactly is number one, sometimes we offer valuable feedback, insight, and a perspective on ideas that our coaching client has. We hold that space to help them find their own solutions. We're not telling them what to do. We're not trying to counsel them through th something. We are not giving them play by play. We're sitting and listening. And that goes into number two, which is helping them to clarify, get really clear on their thoughts, and then offer a new perspective, offer new insights about their life goals, challenges, whatever they're working on. Three of eight things that a life coach does specifically is that we help our coaching clients shift to a bigger perspective. And so I'm glad I can speak from experience today because what that looked like for me was two years ago, I hired my coach to work with me on getting one thing completed in my coaching company. And that one thing set the tone and the foundation for the last two years, 24 months, where I still only worked 10% of my time and made over six figures. And while six figures, yeah, eventually that was the goal. My time was the most important thing. And so he held that perspective. And he also said, well, because 90% of the time you want to do what you want to do, you want to be grown. Here's what we're going to do in your 10%. And you got to, you got to work it. And he's like, I know you can do it. I know you got it in you. But what also you have in you is the ability to surpass the goal you've even set. So yes, yeah, six figures sounds good. Nice, cute, special. You've not, never made it. He's like, what about a million? And then I had to be like, well, hold on. <laughs> Cause yes, it's coming. We have agreed that my success is inevitable because I am working on my business in that 10% at a hundred percent speed and work ethic and devotion. And I get the results that most people don't get even working <coughs> full time. <coughs> so I'm getting excited and choked up here. Let me get some sips. So that goes into the third thing of shifting into a bigger perspective. So we joke a lot because from the time I hired him two years ago as my coach and the time that I shared the vision of my company, he caught the vision. He did what we just talked about in numbers one and two, where he offered feedback, observations, and a bigger perspective for that specific goal for me. And by the way, a life coach helps in all aspects of life. There are eight aspects of life. Mine that I focus on with this particular coach just happens to be professional, business related. We talk all things business we throw stuff in there that I consider fun, which is like food and life. But again, life coaching uh, business is one side of life coaching. So I'm focusing on this because this is what I have particular experience in and it's helping me in all areas of my life. Because again, I centered my life or my business around my life. So they flow <laughs> together. 
So when I shared, okay, yeah, eventually six figures, but most importantly, I want time freedom and I want to go to sleep and wake up the money in the bank. It helped me to do that because it's setting my business up semi-passively. And he helped me to see it bigger than six figures. He's looking at a million. We joke about it. And uh, he also holds the space to say, okay, she's not ready to have this conversation yet. We will revisit it in the future. That's that bigger perspective. And I'm thankful because it's nothing like having someone hold your hand and believe with you. Not for you, not in you, but with you. There's a difference. Maybe I'll do a live on that in the future. Number four of eight things that a life coach does specifically is we offer resources. I have a private Facebook group exclusive to people looking for resources in building their coaching business. That's what we do. So we offer resources and we serve as a resource. So, um, you know, whatever it is your, tr your client is trying to accomplish in their life, you know of a website to visit, a book to read, a podcast to listen to, a video to watch, a conference to go to, you know, and as a really good coach, you know that what we do is center our suggestions and resources Turn them into questions. So we can say, have you been to a specific event around this topic? What's the last book you read on this life goal you're trying to accomplish? What work have you done already in the form of a coaching course or video that you've watched? Have you listened to a certain podcast recently? You know, what recommendations do you have, coaching client? And then I can know what resources I can add to your list. Because usually you are coaching people who look like you. Either they are where you just come from, or y'all could even be in it together. You just don't know. That's why you can't judge a book by its cover. A lot of people look at life coaches and thinking they have to be a certain age or have gone through certain things in their life. They don't. Sometimes you're going to be going through similar things as your coaching client, and you're helping each other. So you'll know about a book or a resource because you just read it, or you're about to read it, or y'all may read it together. I don't know. But we serve as a resource, and we offer resources as well. That's number four of eight. So let's do a quick recap about what a life coach does exactly. Number one, we offer valuable feedback and observations. Number two, we help clarify and explore perspectives and insight. Number three, we help our co coaching clients shift to, to bigger, higher perspectives. And then number four, we serve as resources. We serve um, as offering resources based on what our coaching clients needs are. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I notice you're popping on and off. Let me make, okay, I was making sure my volume is up because I remember turning it down earlier when I was on my four-hour coaching call. I was behind the scenes doing work as well. Hello, Coach Michelle Green. How are you? Number five of eight things that a life coach does exactly is that we help our coaching clients understand themselves. So if you're a member of our community over at futureblacklifecoaches.com, you know we have a boot camp coming up for those who are looking to become professionally trained, skilled, qualified, black women Christian certified life coaches. And in that process is a self-study process. That's why my passive income stream, my 10% um, of my work day is all centered around a self-study course because this is all part of you understanding yourself. So we sit, we listen, we let our clients get their thoughts out and put it on paper. That's exactly what my coaching course does for our certified life coaches. And it's also teaching them how to do the same thing for their coaching clients. So as a coach, we help our coaching clients understand themselves. We help them play out their own solutions, their life situations, the way they think about things, how to make things better, how to understand themselves and where they are in life better, and what next steps to take to help achieve those goals. Because it's little pieces to the puzzle. I mentioned that I hired my coach to help me with one thing in my business that set the main foundation and I've been running ever since, okay? Full speed ahead when I do my 10% uh, into my business. So that's one of our jobs as coaches is to help our clients understand themselves and their life situations more clearly. Get that thing out of their head, put it on paper, talk it through, and let's go achieve some goals together, right? Number six of eight things that a life coach does exactly is we help our coaching client get and or feel much clearer mentally. My favorite part about the coaching calls that I do with my coach is that when I get off the phone, my spirits are lifted. My head is clear. I can now go do other things and not be boggled down by whatever was driving me crazy. I was trying to think through on my own. So as a coach, hello, Vicki Grimes, how are you? 
And so as a coach, things that I try to do on my own, they're so much easier when I partner with a coach. So that's our job as a coach is to hold that space, whether your coaching client is another coach or whether it's a colleague, a church member, um, someone in corporate America, you know, your colleagues or anyone who really needs coaching, whoever your clients are. It helps to get clear, to get out of your head and to talk things through with someone who is experienced in just asking questions around getting clear. So that's number six of eight that a life coach does exactly things that we do. We help our coaching client get and feel much clearer mentally about whatever they're trying to achieve in life. That life goal um, and bringing it to that coaching session is a start. It's a step in the right direction. Number seven of the eight things that a certified coach does exactly is that we help our coaching client come up with an action plan. So we're not just there to pick their brain and ask a million questions, but notice I said, when my coaches come to train with me to learn how to be a life coach, it's a self-study process that helps them get out of their head, stop asking themselves questions, or as the Bible says, stop leaning on your own understanding, but acknowledge God in all your ways. You're like, okay, God, I pray for direction on becoming a coach. You gave me the most talented coach on earth, Dr. AJ Austin. I'm doing what she says, Lord. It's a self-study process. So now you got all these thoughts out of your head. You're letting God lead you. You're being led by the course. And here you are getting clearer. But when you look up at what you wrote, what you got clear on in that self-study process, you got a plan of action. You know what to do next. So it's an action plan for achieving your next goals in your life. It's inspiring you to take action on achieving those goals, right? And so what that looks like is, again, you're walking away with an action plan. And sometimes they are little things, little things that you can do to set you on the right path in your life. But if you've never worked with a coach, you've never been coached, you've never been a coach, then you don't know that. So that's what a life coach does. Number eight, this is our wrap up and then we'll recap, is that we respectfully help and validate, inspire and empower and offer enjoyable conversation with a positive plan of action or result. Let me break that down because some people think, number one, they've already been coaching before they actually become a coach and they haven't been. Number two, they also think, oh, well, I can just go talk to a friend and get the same result or a family member. But when I say we respectfully help, that means we're not judging. We're not biased or prejudiced. We're not, you know, favoring your decisions one way or another. We're not favoring your beliefs one way or another. We're not favoring your actions one way or another. But we are validating that here's what you're thinking. Here's what you're saying. Here's what you say you want. Here's the goal you say you want to accomplish or achieve. And here are our next steps together. We're not giving you advice like family or friends usually do, trying to fix you or fix it, whatever that it looks like. We're not trying to tell you what to go do if we were you, what you could have, should have, would have, ought to did, or what we could have, should have, would have did if we were you. We're not doing that. That's what family tends to do, tends to do because they're not trained as coaches. So yeah, you may leave feeling better, but really all you did was dump your problems onto someone else who couldn't help you fix it, Okay. But a coach's job, we're not there to help you fix it either. We're there to help pick your brain, ask you questions, help you put it on paper and come up with a game plan that's going to respectfully validate you, put you in a place of empowering. An empowering position is powerful. And then you're going to walk away with a positive plan, an outcome that can actually get you results. Okay? You're going to get results based on what you say you want for your life, not what someone else told you that you wanted for your life. Okay? So here we go. What exactly does a certified life coach do? Well, child, let me work backwards from number eight to number one. Number one, we're respectfully helping you, validating, empowering, inspiring you in an enjoyable, positive coaching conversation where you leave with a plan and an outcome or result to look forward to, okay? We're also helping you come up with that action plan for your life goals, whatever it is that you say you want. Maybe you're like me, you're like, I want a better business. Or you're like me, you're like, I want to build my business around my life and not the other way around. Maybe you're like me and like, I don't want to be on a tight schedule. I don't want nobody telling me what to do. I don't want a a routine of where I got to be, when, and how long I got to be there. No, help me to get 10% done, but get 100% of the results, okay? 
So the coach's job is to help come up with that action plan for achieving that life goal that's inspiring our coaching clients in the meantime as they're working towards taking action and achieving that goal. A life coach is helping our coaching client feel clearer mentally. Even me doing this live is helping me get clearer mentally because so many people don't know what a coach is. Me doing this live is educating you on what a coach does, okay? Sometimes you got to show people what a coach does. And that's hopefully what we have gotten much clearer on today. So that's a coach's job to help our coaching clients get clearer about their life goals and bringing that action plan to life every coaching session, every step of the way. A life coach helps our coaching clients understand themselves. Remember that self-study process? We're helping them understand their life situation, the way they think about their life situation, how to make it better, how to accomplish their goals even quicker, even better. We also offer resources and we serve as a resource to help our coaching clients meet those life goals. And then we're helping our coaching clients shift their perspective to bigger, okay? We're helping them clarify and explore other perspectives, uh, give an insight about, you know, whatever it is that they're working on. So the number one thing that we do is offer valuable feedback during those coaching conversations. We're going to offer observations on our clients' ideas, which help the close coaching clients find their own solutions. That's the difference between coaching and anything else you thought it was. We don't have your answers. We don't diagnose you. We don't give you what to go do. It may sound generic. It may sound roundabout, talking in circles. Sometimes you just have to experience coaching to see what coaching is. And if you've ever experienced coaching and you want to know what it's like to become a coach, meet me over at futureblacklifecoaches.com because we got an upcoming boot camp to teach you how to become a professionally trained, skilled, qualified, black woman, Christian certified life coach. This is putting all of this into action. These eight things are exactly what a certified life coach does. If you're still confused and you want clarity, you want to get that mental clarity, head over to futureblacklifecoaches.com. And until we meet again, my friends, remember, there is someone somewhere. They are waiting on you to walk in your destiny as they try to walk into theirs. They try and they wait on you. Let your light shine, okay? Because you're giving others permission to do the same. And as a future black woman, Christian certified life coach, when you impact just one life, you are impacting generations using all eight of these tips I just went through. If you just joined us, go hit rewind, watch that replay, and join us over at futureblacklifecoaches.com for our upcoming boot camp. And I'll see y'all soon. Have a phenomenal rest of your day. God bless. Bye, future black life coaches.